Hi, this is Pad Love with Pad's Two Cents. I, oh, oh boy, this thing is really, really on my mind. One thing the Lord showed me in my mind, he gives me these analogies. Picture a person that's been out partying all night long. Now, this is why certain things are so offensive, abrasive, and hard to deal with. Here you are, you've been out at night partying all night long, sun's starting to come up, you're wiped out, drunk, high as a kite, you're wasted. You've been screwing half the night, partying the other half the night, and you are just good for nothing right now. You just need to get your head back straight. So here you dive into bed, right? And you close everything up because you want, uh, you want it to be as dark as possible. Why? Because you know what's following. A hangover, you might even get a little nauseous, whatever, but you're going to feel like crap in the morning. So you get up late morning, because you were up so late in the day, and you have everything dark. And then here comes your brother, sister, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. They come in, they open the curtains wide and let the daylight in. Oh, how beautiful. Now, what do you do? It's a beautiful day outside. It's sunny. It's clear. It's bright. It's gorgeous. But what do you do? Oh, cl close that. Cl close that up. What's the matter with you? And they're wondering what's the matter with you. Why? The light is beautiful. It's gorgeous. But it is offensive to you. Why is it offensive to you? Because the, the darkness, the lifestyle in the dark has got you so wasted with the alcohol and the drugs and the sex and the partying and whatever else you're doing that you're not ready for all that light. It's too much light. It's just too much light. I can't take that. That is the problem with us when we're in sin. When sin has got us so wasted and tired and we're, we're wiped out, we can't take all that light. God's light, the light that Jesus shines on our pathway, the light of the truth, the light of holiness and righteousness is too much. I cannot handle that right now. You get me? That's what makes it so difficult for some people to accept the Lord, to even give him the time of day, to even give him a consideration because we're so acclimated to the dark that that sudden burst of light, it's actually painful. No, 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 too much. So what do we end up doing to it? We reject it. No. Close those curtains. I want it dark. That's what I'm used to, the dark. And that's what you live out. A life in the dark. One day, when you really, really, really get tired, really get tired of groping around in the darkness, trying to find your way to nowhere, You'll say, open the curtains. I need some light in my life now. I hope that day is not too late. God bless you.